What's up? So today we're talking about Godzilla vs. King Kong. The trailer for the new movie coming out is 2021, just released yesterday. It's supposed to be coming out March 26th as of today. So people are talking about it, we're excited about it. So we wanted to do some research and discuss who we think is going to win. So without further ado, Godzilla vs. King Kong, who will win 2021? So we'll start with Godzilla. We did pros and cons. We'll kick it off with the pros here because we like to be positive first. So Godzilla, his pros include his atomic breath, his nuclear pulse, his survival ability and his tough hide, his regenerative abilities, the fact that he's surprisingly athletic, which refers mainly to his strength and his endurance, his physical options. He has actually a variety of options that he can use when fighting, including his tail, his jaw, his claws, his dorsal fins, his kicks, his jumping, and the fact that he's effective close range and long range is very important. Then there's the fact that he's constantly emitting radiation all the time, and that he is amphibious, which means that he is equally as powerful in the water, which is something that is not true for King Kong, so that could be important. And his intelligence. He's not as intelligent as King Kong, but the fact that he has intelligence is important. It's roughly equivalent to that of a 10-year-old human, they say, but he is not running purely off instinct. So Godzilla's cons now. His biggest con, I would say, is his second brain, which is located in his spine. This may sound like it would be a pro, however, I assure you it is not. And the reason for that is that having two brains means that he has an Achilles heel because if his brain, which is located conveniently on his spine, gets destroyed, then he's done for, he dies, which has happened. His other biggest con is the fact that he's bulky. He's very big and that's one of his pros, but it's also one of his cons because being so big and bulky makes him slower and it makes him a large target. He is also at risk to the oxygen destroyer and to ANAB, the anti-nuclear energy bacteria which probably won't affect him in the next movie, but they have affected him in the past, so always possible. The same is true for his vulnerability to electricity and his vulnerability to cadmium. The history of Godzilla. Godzilla first appeared in 1954. The monster was awakened as a result of nuclear radiation, and it has been used as a metaphor for nuclear weapons many times in the past. Godzilla is known to be as tall as 393 feet, in his largest appearance, which is equivalent to 119.8 meters. Godzilla's past opponents, he has a lot of them, so we'll start with his notable wins. These include when he defeated Gigantus in 1954, he defeated Chidora conditionally in 1964 and in 2019, he defeated Jigon in 1972, he defeated Megalon in 1973, he defeated Mechagodzilla in 1974. He defeated Biollante in 1989. Defeated Space Godzilla in 1994. And he defeated Orga in 1999. Godzilla's notable losses include his loss to the Oxygen Destroyer, of course, in the first movie. His loss to King Kong in 1962 in Godzilla vs. King Kong. His loss to Mothra in 1964 and in 1992. His loss to Mechagodzilla in 1993, 2002, and 2003. And of course, his loss to the military in 1998 and in 2016. <clears throat> King Kong's pros are that he's very strong and he's very mobile. Those are his two major ones. Another pro is that he has opposable thumbs, which he can climb and he can grab stuff easily as seen in Kong Skull Island. He's very intelligent unlike Godzilla um, and he is effective when he's outnumbered as seen in also Kong Skull Island. He has a strong resistance and he has a strong stamina. He also has strong senses meaning he can see very well and he can hear very well. He has a ton of potential currently because he's not done growing. That means that he can become stronger. Now, King Kong's cons are that he has lack of armor 
and he is slow to recover, meaning that he can't heal as quickly as Godzilla was able to. Another con is his size. He is smaller than Godzilla. He's supposedly going to be at least three times the size in this movie than he was in the previous films. And his final con is that he has no special abilities, meaning he has no atomic breath or nuclear pulse or radiation emitting off of him like Godzilla. Now, here's a little bit of King Kong history. King Kong's alias is that he's the eighth wonder of the world, and his first appearance was in 1933. Kong is essentially a giant ape, or gorilla, standing over 100 feet tall. Now, King Kong's past opponents are, in 1933, King Kong versus the military, and he lost to the military. In 1962, in the movie King Kong versus Godzilla, he won versus Godzilla. In 1976, King Kong versus the military, he lost, and he also lost in 2005's King Kong which he also was against the military. In 2017, Kong Skull Island, he fought the big one, which was also one of the skull crawlers, and he won against them. These are the mashup odds between King Kong and Godzilla over the movies. In Godzilla vs. King Kong 1962, King Kong secured the win, although Godzilla did win the first round. King Kong's record is two wins and three losses, Godzilla's record is 9 wins, 9 losses. King Kong's rough win rate is 40%, and Godzilla's rough win rate is 50%. King Kong, without the military fights, his win rate is 100%, and Godzilla, without the military fights, is 56%. King Kong, in unassisted fights, just himself versus someone, is, uh, his win rate is 40%. Godzilla's unassisted fights, uh, his win rate is 23%, so significantly worse. So here are our final thoughts on what we think might happen. Uh, both have very strong pros, especially King Kong's mobility and intelligence, uh, as well as Godzilla's atomic breath and tough hide. Godzilla's biggest con seems to be his second brain and lack of mobility. King Kong's greatest cons seem to be its size and its inferior resistance and healing abilities, so he doesn't regenerate as fast as Godzilla. Godzilla has a better win rate, however, when you consider only the fights in which Godzilla fought without assistance, his record drops considerably and is inferior to King Kong's. King Kong has a win rate of about 100% when his enemy is not the military, including the original Godzilla vs. King Kong, which is pretty important because that's what this is, sort of. King Kong's size does put him at a disadvantage, but he, we do expect him to be around the same height as Godzilla is in the new movie, so that should put him on a level playing field. Godzilla is incredibly good with his atomic breath, and it's not the same because King Kong is at a disadvantage with no abilities. While King Kong doesn't have abilities, he does have overall better fighting tactics. Godzilla is better at... Uh, short range and long range because of his stomping and kicking and his atomic breath but King Kong is better at most ranges because of his mobility and speed he can move around the battlefield and with his opposable thumbs and intelligence he can grab things he can climb so finally our conclusion after going through all this research and looking at all of the past films and thinking about all the pros and cons, this is the conclusion we've reached. We've decided that while Godzilla has far more destructive power, it possesses less combative capabilities, and King Kong, however, is built as a much more efficient fighter. For this reason, we believe that the winner is going to be King Kong. So, we'll have to see when the movie comes out. Hopefully you guys like this video. Comment who you think will win and why, because we definitely want to hear it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Have a great day.